Since the James Webb Space Telescope arrived at Europe's spaceport in French Guiana in mid-October, preparations for launch have been going on around the clock. Webb is one of the most complex and sophisticated scientific instruments ever built and has taken some 30 years of development. And while the Space Observatory is being checked, fueled and ready for launch in one building, in another facility a few kilometres away, the Ariane 5 launcher that will carry Webb into space is also being assembled. This is just the final stage of a process that began when Ariane 5 was first chosen for this prestigious international mission some 14 years ago, and special adaptations have been made to the launch vehicle and assembly process. These include stringent cleanroom conditions and new procedures to protect the telescope at the top of the launcher when the protective fairing is being lowered around it. Due to the size of the telescope, uh, we needed to develop a specific uh, guiding system, a laser guiding system, uh, to uh, encapsulate the web telescope in the fairing because we have really few margin inside the fairing and during the descent it's really important to control uh, the positioning uh, of the fairing and uh, to ensure a safe encapsulation for the telescope. With its core stage and two solid rocket boosters, Ariane 5 is one of the most reliable launch vehicles in the world. It's launched most of ESA's largest science missions, including Rosetta and, most recently, the Bepi Colombo spacecraft to Mercury. But launch is only the beginning of an eventful journey. It'll take the Webb telescope to its final station, 1.5 million kilometres from Earth, known as L2. This is a position in space where the gravitational forces of the Sun and the Earth balance out. Special flight control manoeuvres have been developed for the mission to ensure Webb isn't exposed to damaging sunlight when the launcher's fairing is released. The launch itself will take 27 minutes from liftoff until, uh, until, uh, uh, until uh, web separation from the launcher. And then the journey toward uh, Lagrange Point L2 will take about uh, four weeks. And during that period, uh, Webb uh, which was in folded configuration, will deploy. In a carefully planned sequence, the telescope will first deploy its solar array, then the antennas, sun shield, and finally the two mirrors. Even then, it'll be several months before Webb is ready for science. The observatory has to cool to its operating temperature of minus 233 degrees Celsius, and the 18 individual segments of its mirror have to be aligned. So there's a lot of work to happen after launch. That's just the first step. And only after six months will we be ready with the telescope and the instruments all fully commissioned, ready to start doing science. The science we've dreamt of for decades. It's just around the corner. If we can wait 30 years, we can wait just another six months. Webb promises to transform our view of the universe, detecting light from the very dawn of time. And now, there's not long to wait for the first science.